the issue. They did the investigation and then basically said, we don't know, we can't decide. That's very unusual. And I would I would like to hear Mr. Barr's opinion about why that is the case. Um, but to reiterate, what I'm interested in is this. Um, according to the Mueller report, there will be no indictment of the president for conspiracy or collusion and no indictment for obstruction of justice. Has Mr. Mueller changed his mind? If he has, he needs to tell us. If he hasn't, that's the issue as far as I'm concerned. Let me ask you though, those two letters, we now have found out that it's two letters that Mueller sent to Barr. How do you interpret those then if you don't think that Mueller was trying to indicate to Mr. Barr that he did not think that the summary of his report was well characterized to the American public? Well, uh, Mr. Mr. Barr has testified that Mr. Mueller did not quibble uh, with the conclusions as articulated in his letter. Now, based on the testimony today, here's what I heard Mr. Barr say, that Mr. Mueller was, was concerned that the letter wasn't nuanced enough. Well, that problem's been solved because we now have the full report. Uh, the second concern that Mr. Mueller had was he didn't agree with the press reports. Well, that's not something Mr. Barr could do anything about. Was Only it, you guys can do something. Was it fair for the Mueller team or someone close to Mueller to release this letter on the day of Barr's testimony? Well, Mr. Mr. Barr is in the process, as he testified this morning, of conducting leak in investigations at FBI and at the Department of Justice. And I'm going to ask him when it's my turn if that includes uh, members of the Mueller team. Anything else, guys?